Hello everyone, this is Shivatija from Einstein Analytics product team. Today let us see a few options around dataset recipe. So to access the dataset recipe, you can click on the gear icon on the top right and go into the data manager. Within data manager, on the left side, you have data flows and recipes and in the second tab you have dataset recipes. So you can create a new recipe. So to create a new recipe, you need to start off with an existing data set. I'll select the opportunities data set. And this, as you see, is a visual representation of your data. So you can also see a few options over here. The recipe preview is for 40 out of 68 fields that are available and the flow contains 676 rows. You can edit this. I'll just add an amount field as well for the preview. And you can change the preview for first thousand, five thousand or ten thousand rows. Apply. All right. You also have a recipe metadata which is based on the data set opportunity. Over here, you see that there are a few options that are present in the arrow present beside the column name and these are different transformations that you can perform on this column. Please note that these transformations are contextually different for a dimension, a date or a measure. Please note that these options were different for the dimension. All right. You also have a few Einstein suggestions based on a column that is selected that you can perform with the lowercase, uppercase, substring or bucket by clusters. If I select amount, the values, the Einstein suggestions change to logarithm, power, square root, etc. And this is again different for a date. Also, you have a few options on the right side. Add data, which is adding more number of columns. So if I have myops data, which is a different data set, I can join these two data sets based on a common key that is present. And I can add more rows, more columns on the right side. I also have an option called append data which is adding more number of rows to the existing data. So wherever there is a match, I would see the matched records over here, the matched columns. If there is no matched column, then those values are added as null values. I also have an option called column profile selecting a column profile gives me some statistical view of the column that I've selected. Again, this is contextual and changes by date, dimension or a measure. For selected dimension, gives me a few options based on string length, how many values or how many rows do I have. And for a measure, I can see some statistical values like what is the minimum, maximum, mean, median, etc. of this column. Apart from the profile, you also have an option called attributes, which displays the API name of the field, the label of the field, and what is the field type. I also have a navigator, which allows me to hide or display a particular column within the recipe. And once you make any change, you will observe that all the changes that you have made in terms of the transformation gets added on the left side pane. You can either edit this or go to the start or remove this particular operation that has been performed on the column. 
you can save this recipe you can save this new recipe and once a recipe is saved you can click on the create data set which creates a new data set from the existing one based on the operations that you've performed here on the left these are a few options and few UI navigations with respect to dataset recipes. Hope this helps. Thank you for watching the video. Have a great day.